Hi, this is Mark with VCheck24. Welcome to the Cliff demo, Cliff Notes version. Uh, VCheck24 launched in 2019. We've got customers across the nation, uh, and they consist of adult probation departments, juvenile probation, alternative sentencing, corrections, treatment courts, drug courts, and sheriff's offices. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now. Okay, so for the offender, for the client, it's just an app that they download onto their phone. And for the agent, for the officers, um, this is what they'll be using. This is the agent portal. They can log in and use the system on their laptop, tablet, or smartphone. I'm going to jump into my alias, Mr. Johnny Cash. And here is some basic profile information on Johnny. I'm going to show you the check-ins first, which we call V-check, video check-in. How they work is the client is sent a push notification from our system. They open up the app. They press start. They see themselves being um, recorded, and they sh are shown three prompts to state their name, current location, and a randomly generated two-word phrase. So I'll go ahead and play one. Johnny Cash. I just got home. Keep block. We currently are developing facial recognition, which we hope to have um, out live in a year. Um, these videos can be viewed blown up. You can download the video file and it's small enough where it can be emailed. The client, when they first get that notification to check in, they're given an hour to complete it. If they miss that hour, agents can be immediately notified that they missed a V-check. Uh, we have a variety of reports that are used as business records in court. Um, so this one, we call this compliance report. It shows the time of all missed check-ins. Next up, I'm going to dive into the 24-7 continuous tracking and Geo zones with instant agent alerts. Expanding the map. Okay, so as you can see here, the geofences can be circular or custom shaped polygon zones. Uh, you can map these polygon zones around any area, any size, even. You can make them around city lines around county lines or around the entire um, state border if you wanted. Um, both types of zones, officers can be immediately alerted when they enter and exit. And then also officers can have it trigger a V check when they exit that home. So um, let's say that here's their inclusion zone at um, home. When they exit that zone, they're immediately pinged to check in. Uh, we've got a red zones, exclusion zones. If, um, if there is a domestic violence case or any victim involved, um, the officer has the option to um, approach the victim and ask them if they want to get a text alert if the client were to um, head towards their home or get near enough their home. Uh, how it would work is they wouldn't have access to the system that you're seeing now. They um, don't have an app for their phone. Uh, the victim would just get a text if that offender um, neared their residence. When uh, you first jump into the map, it shows the 25 most recent traces. So I'm just zooming in to show you. I've just been at home. Um, but what's nice is not only can officers know where the client currently is, all tracking data is stored and can be accessed and, be, can, and can be used for, um, you can generate reports. I'm just going to show two examples of the historical tracking. Populate that. Okay. So here's me just on a short drive up north. You've got the directional arrows of the GPS traces. You can hover over them to see the timestamp. On average, the traces are taken every three minutes, but um, when the phone's in motion, it's a higher frequency than that. So looking at this example, we've got a trace at 9.06 a.m., 9.07 a.m., 9.09 a.m., so about every minute and a half, very continuous. 
Uh, this little green icon right there indicates a completed check-in. So not only can the officer see and hear the client if they want, but um, they can see exactly when and where they completed that check-in. Next up, I'm going to show about a day's worth of tracking on the map all at once. Okay, so some officers will look at this um, just to get an idea of the client's life patterns, life habits, where they spend most of their time. Uh, got a lot of traces right here. Okay, that's Johnny's home. Got a lot of traces over here. Okay, maybe that's Johnny's uh, place of work. Um, but maybe you notice that he or she, excuse me, he or she goes um, to some location across town. It's not his local grocery store. It's not on the officer's case files. Um, not only can you zoom in to see exactly where that's at, but if it happens to be in an area that um, the officer is unfamiliar with, you've got Google Street View, just to get a good 360 degree view of that location. Um, maybe it's a liquor store, maybe it's a pub. Um, today I went to Elevations Credit Union there. Okay, so that is the continuous tracking. Next, I'm going to jump into my client settings to show more features available. You'll set the primary agent supervising the individual, but if you want, you can add up to three backup agents to monitor them, which is really handy if the primary agent gets sick or goes on vacation. Officers can opt into daily or weekly automated reports. These are automatically sent to them at 6 a.m., the activity report includes all the traces, which is a lot of data. So we also created the alarm summary report. This highlights key things like missed V checks and zone enter and exit. I'm actually going to jump over to an example of the alarm summary report. So yeah, like I said, it shows all missed V checks and zone enters and exits. Um, the officers, if they want to receive these, they can quickly just first thing in the morning, pop these open look to see if Johnny went somewhere he wasn't supposed to, um, like maybe Valmont Mobile Homes is an exclusion zone. And officers um, at that time, if they want, they could jump in the system and watch all the tracking everywhere he went. Back to the platform. Um, so early on, we were commonly asked, what happens if the client turns off their phone? What happens if they uninstall your app? Uh, what happens if they try to be clever and disable the location permission? Our system um, automatically detects it's not getting new tracking data and officers can be alerted 30 minutes later, an hour, two hours, six hours, a lot of options here. Next, I'm going to show you the options available for inclusion zone. So we're going to do a home curfew example, naming the zone home, entering in Johnny's address. and making the geofence. Another nice thing about the polygon zones, not only can you make them any size, but um, looking at this example, as you can see, the client lives um, right next to this main row, Arapahoe Avenue. You don't want it triggering alerts and check-ins when they're just driving on Arapahoe. So with the polygon zones, you can still map a geofence around the residence without it overlapping that main road. Okay, inclusion zones, you can have them be active 24 seven, or you can toggle this on and just set the time window for when you want them to be active. So for Johnny's curfew, um, I just want him home every day from uh, overnight. So from 5.30 p.m. to 7 a.m. So they only be active overnight. And you can set this where it's uh, that way every day or just certain days of the week if you wanted. Right here, you have the option for it to trigger a V check when they exit that zone. Uh, if you don't want them checking in, just when they leave home, you can just disable that. Uh, we have global zones. So library of commonly used um, zones where you only have to create them once and then you can quickly apply them to that client. Next up, we have daily random V checks. So if you want, you can have them be sent daily random, set the uh, number you want to go out every day, set the time frame window for when you want them to be sent to whatever you prefer, and they're 100% randomized. The client will not be able to predict a pattern on when they arrive. You can schedule V checks to automatically go out into the future. I'm going to name this one evenings. 
set the date I want the V check to automatically be sent. And I want Johnny to check in at 10 p.m. every day, showing he's home like he's supposed to, looking clean and sober. Also at these, you can set up for just certain days of the week. Next up is our chat feature, which is especially great for appointment reminders. Clicking on messages. Here's where you type in the message. And when you hit send, they get um, the notification. They open up the app and read the message from the officer within there, and then they can respond to the officer. Um, all back and forth communication is saved right here. And this is another report you can save uh, if the client were to maybe blatantly lie to the officer, say something inappropriate. We have a drop down of canned messages, common messages officers might want to use, such as probation appointment tomorrow, court date reminder, and then bracelet. You must charge your bracelet. So to explain why we have this on here, uh, VCheck24, we are just this app. Um, it's all we make and we're going to make it better and better, um, just like with our current development of facial recognition. Um, but... And we originally designed the product for low to mid-risk offenders, although some um, officers do use us for high-risk offenders, even sex offenders, because our form of electronic monitoring is better than zero EM, absolutely. But also for the really high-risk offenders, some of our customers use us in tandem with an ankle monitor. So ankle monitor and um, our app on their phone, double downing of supervision, and then, uh, you know, of course, with an ankle monitor, you, know, you can't see and hear the client, you can't send the messages. I've uh, got a drop down of questionnaires with the typical questions like, have you had contact with law enforcement in the past week? Has your address changed? And you can also schedule messages to automatically go out into the future. And if you want, these can recur daily, weekly, or monthly. A good um, daily message might be at 7.30 every day reminder to take their medication. Or, hi, Johnny. This is to remind you that you have AA today at 6 p.m. You'll set the date for their first court ordered AA. Set the time you want them to be reminded. And these can be sent every day or certain days of the week. So if they just had AA on Tuesdays. For the officer, it said it, forget it. And for the client, they always get those reminders. Here is our data rich dashboard. So this houses all the clients in the system and it just has a lot of quick, just a good quick snapshot of a lot of information. It shows the last valid GPS date and time of each client, their last completed V check date and time. If the officer has any unread chat messages from the client, it's got total number of missed V checks, total number of completed V checks, total number of no GPS alerts, uh, application alerts, this is if they disable an app permission like mic or camera or location or um, push notifications, and then how long they've been active in the system. And then there are flexible agent notification settings. So by email and or SMS, they can be alerted immediately when the client misses a V-check, when they complete a V-check, uh, when they trigger a zone, and then here's application errors and no GPS alerts. To um, show share a little bit more about the tracking, um, this is an image taken from our map uh, of an individual that went on a cruise um, in the Caribbean. So this just shows him tracking on um, while he's on the boat. And then jumping over to this image, uh, this shows his tracking here on the cruise liner and um, where he went on the island here. And jumping over to one last image. Uh, this is another image taken from our system. We had a colleague who knew he was driving in an area with low cell signal, and he was just keeping a really close eye on his bars. Um, anywhere along where he had poor cell signal, the tracking worked fine. Uh, this little scribble dot section, he completely lost cell signal, but um, we have store and forward. So when he re-entered cell signal, this tracking information showed up on our map. So um, yes, that's our demo for the day. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or anything and um, have a good day. Let's see if I can figure out how to stop the recording. There we go. All right.
Thanks and have a good day.